Are you bored with worn out smart plug control? Are you looking to breathe new life into your smart plug automation game? In today's video, we've got three awesome smart plug automations for you. Let's get into it. Greetings Internet, it's Dustin again with my HomeKit Home, bringing you all things Apple HomeKit from news to product reviews to how-to product reviews, just like this one. So if that's something that you're into, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the bell notification so you don't miss out on any of our new videos as soon as they're released. Smart plugs aren't exactly the flashiest part of our connected homes, but they serve a key role in making our homes that much smarter, and they can actually fill in some gaps in product categories that HomeKit seems to have forgotten. And with a little clever thinking, we can actually get some pretty awesome results. In this video, I've put together three different smart plug automations to help you get your creative juices flowing. While you can apply the principles that we'll look at in today's video to just about any HomeKit enabled smart plug on the market, Acura did send us theirs for the purposes of today's video and we'll look at it in more detail in a moment. And if you're interested in picking one up, I do have a limited time discount code in the description box just below that like button. Okay, well, if you're a fan of shortcuts, then you'll definitely appreciate this first one. This automation was inspired by Joe from Smarter Home Life and we're actually tweaking an idea that we had in the past to help solve a grave atrocity, burnt toast. One pair of pants later. Here in the Shortcuts app, we'll tap that plus button at the top right, then we'll add action, we'll search for our wait script. Once we're there, we'll go ahead and select whatever time delay that we think we need. Here, this takes some experimenting, but I've found that 183 seconds exactly is when my toast is at perfection, so we'll select that there. We'll tap that blue plus button at the bottom there, and we'll find our home app, and we'll select control, whatever the name of your home is, then we'll set our smart plug here as our action. Once we've done that, we want to make sure that our smart plug is in the off position. We'll go ahead and name our shortcut here. We'll, this is something that Siri will recognize, so make sure that it's memorable. I'm going to go ahead and add this to my home screen because I think that'll be an easier way for me to interact with this shortcut, but you do you. Once we've gotten all of that taken care of, we can launch our shortcut from the home screen. So even if your smart plug is capable of energy monitoring like the Acura smart plug, it isn't always so easy to stay on top of our energy consumption. Thankfully, we can set up this handy little automation to not only send us a push notification, but to also set a countdown timer to gently remind others, if maybe passive aggressively, to be more aware of their energy consumption. Brr, it's so cold. Twelve seconds later. What the f And just like that, we are in Acura's home app. From the automation tab, we'll tap that plus button at the top right there, first addressing the if part of our statement by adding the smart plug, making sure that we choose the turn on option there. Next up, we address the then part of our statement with three different options, the first of which is our push notification. One of the cool things about the Acura home app is you can select really any custom message that you would like. Here I'm adding they're wasting the electricity just so I know that that's that specific notification, but you do you. Next up is our timer, so our delay. So this is really any countdown timer that you would like. I think that since this is a space heater, 30 minutes is more than enough for one round of heating a room, but again, you do you. So the next part of our automation is to make sure that our plug turns off. So we'll add the same smart plug to the automation there, making sure that we now have it set to turn off. We want to make sure those three things are in order, by the way, as well. We'll go ahead and name our automation, and once we've done that, we should be good to go and everything should be working fine. 
So one of the best features of HomeKit Secure Video that I brought up in a recent video is that we can actually set supported cameras to off whenever we're home, letting us rest assured that what happens in our home stays in our home. But what do you do if your HomeKit camera doesn't support HSV? What do you do if you just don't trust HSV? Again, it's a smart plug to the rescue. Here we are on the automations tab in Apple's home app and after tapping that plus button at the top right we'll select our people arrive automation. Here I selected anyone arrives because I'm not concerned if this needs to happen multiple times just to make sure that this camera is turned off anytime someone comes home. We do want to make sure that our location is home and the time you can choose any or whatever time you would like this to happen. Uh, next step is choosing the smart plug that we have our smart camera connected to. Mine is in the dining room and it's the Acura smart plug. So I'll go ahead and select that one and tap next. The only other thing that we need to do is make sure that the smart plug is set to turn off. And that's all we need to do to have this turn off whenever we arrive home. But you might want this to turn back on whenever you leave home. And here's how we can do that. So one last time, we'll tap that plus button at the top right. This time choosing when people leave automations. So here I will. I'm going to go ahead and choose the last person leaves again the location and the time are going to stay the same with home and any we'll tap that next button and we'll go ahead and choose that same smart plug which our smart camera is connected to which again is in the dining room and we'll go ahead and select that and we'll tap next and this time we just want to do the reverse of what we did in the first automation making sure that this turns on we'll tap done and well we are are done. Oh, were you wanting a demo of that? Okay, we can do that. So throughout today's video, we've been using the Acura Smart Plug as our connected controller of choice. So let's look at it in a bit more detail. All right, let's break this thing down, shall we? The Acura Smart Plug features a single grounded outlet with things like scheduling and timers, but it also supports energy monitoring as well. It does have a physical on and off button as well as an LED indicator. It's capable of supporting devices up to 15 amps or 1,875 watts as its maximum power output, and it does have overheating and overload protection as well. It is a Zigbee device, which does require the Acura hub, but I'm relatively certain you already knew that. It does have a pretty wide operating temperature as well from negative 10 degrees Celsius to positive 40 degrees Celsius. Now let's go ahead and look at some of the key features that I found in the Acura Home app. In Acura's home app, we do have the ability to monitor our energy consumption on a daily and monthly basis, as well as see our current power draw from the device. We also have a nifty little countdown timer if you find that that's something useful for you. Now, in terms of automations, we can use the device turning on or off or we can use the current state of the device as a trigger for our automations. However, there are no automations based on energy draw or energy consumption. However, we do have a nifty little charging protection feature. So essentially what this does is it turns off the smart plug after 30 minutes with a draw of less than two watts. This can be really useful for things like rechargeable batteries, your phone, anything that has a battery, this can really help to save the life of the battery. The last feature that I wanted to mention here is the maximum power limit. So although the device itself has a maximum power of 1,875 watts, we can adjust that maximum to fit our needs. That's a pretty nifty feature that I don't see very often. Since the number three seems to be a theme in today's video, three, 
Three fabulous flyers, ah, ah, ah. Let's look at three pros and three cons of the Acura Smart Plug. So not all smart plugs these days support energy monitoring, so I'm really happy to see it with the Acura Smart Plug, even if it's only supported in the Acura Home app and not in HomeKit yet. Since this is a Zigbee accessory, the response time is faster than a speeding bullet. Faster than a speeding bullet. Okay, well maybe not that fast, but I can definitely tell you that I noticed a snappier response time from the Acura Smart Plug using Zigbee over my Wi-Fi Smart Plugs that I have here in the house. Speaking of Zigbee, oh, the Zigbee! The Acura Hub is actually a Zigbee signal repeater for the Acura Hub. This means that if you're starting to amass a collection of Acura accessories, this is going to help expand your network and make it stronger. And now for the cons. We did mention earlier that this smart plug does support energy monitoring and it does. However, we can't actually take any action based on this data. So we can see daily and monthly and, and current energy draw, but we're not actually able to set any automations based on that. So I'd really like to see that come to at least the Acura Home app. The Acura smart plug is also relatively bulky when you compare it to other smart plugs in the market. So I was able in most cases to get another device plugged into the same outlet. However, you might run into issues if you're trying to plug in a second smart plug. And lastly, I wanted to talk about the price. At the time of recording, the Acura smart plug is selling on Amazon for $27.99 since in the US. This is a bit pricier than other HomeKit enabled smart plugs on the market. However, Acura regularly runs sales on their products through their Amazon Direct Store. And if you're interested in picking one up, I do have a limited time discount code, which you'll find in the description box down below. Also, if you consider all of the different functionality that we have with this Acura smart plug, I don't think that it's actually that bad. Speaking of unique functionality within HomeKit, I did use the Acura Smart Plug in a previous video to help sort of bridge HomeKit sensors to the Acura Alarm, and I'll leave a link for that video in the iCard and in the description box down below. So what are your favorite Smart Plug automations? How do you use Smart Plugs in your HomeKit setup? Let me know in the comment section down below. Also below the video in the description box, you'll find a link to pick up the Acura Smart Plug as well as all the links to all the videos and everything else that we talked about in today's video, including a link to our blog where you'll find a full written review over at myhomekithome.com. You'll also find links to our social media on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at myhomekithome. As always, if you found today's video useful, you can let us and YouTube know by giving us a big thumbs up. It really does help out the channel by helping others find our content and we greatly appreciate it. Now, if you're interested in more Acura related content with a HomeKit lens, you can check out this playlist here or you can check out this video here. And if you haven't done so already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button as we will be posting more Acura related content in the near future. Well, that's all the time that I have for you today. I do thank you for watching it until I see you in the next one. This has been Dustin with my HomeKit Home. Kit Home.